I hope everyone is having a beautiful Wednesday. It is gorgeous here in North Texas. I woke up this morning and it was so cold. It was so incredibly cold. Uh, but now it is just like the sun is perfect. It's that like perfect temperature where it's not hot, it's not cold. It's just like super mild. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. And so I decided to take a walk. And then, but actually prior to taking my walk, I was getting ready to do my live this morning. I got on and I wrote an article about an event I did yesterday. I did this beautiful, it truly was beautiful. It was, it was a, I've run lots of events and this one was incredibly touching. It was probably one of the most touching events I, I myself have run because everybody was so into it. They were so into it. They were so open. They were there. They were there learning, exploring, and it was it was just a beautiful experience to have the honor to to watch, to be a part of. Um, and so anyway, this morning I wrote an article on my wound, on wounding because part of the workshop I asked everybody to kind of like name their wound in regards to their sex. And Everyone did, uh, even if it was an internal kind of knowing. Um, I think a lot of us think that like we have to like we have to kind of verbalize it and talk about it and show it. But in truth, there was a lot of there was a couple people in the room that just owned it. They just owned it and they owned it silently and they were working through their shit silently. And that was just as beautiful as the people who were who really stepped up and were willing to to kind of go through the activity with me um, kind of guiding them but anyway so this morning I, I wrote this article and I was like okay I'm gonna go and do my live and I wanted to talk about wounding and how really our wounding can be our most beautiful pieces it really is like Rumi said where the light enters us it truly is this this space of growth for us it gives us the opportunity to have more compassion for those in our world to have have something to overcome and gain resilience over a lot of people gain their spiritual connection through their wound because they have to get they have to go through something and so they they go internal and they start to connect and they start to reach out and they start to expand and so a lot of times our wound can be the most beautiful pieces of us if we allow it to be and so that's what I was going to do my live on. And then, sorry, itchy nose, itchy nose issue. Um, but as I was getting ready to hit the live button, I got a little message pop up from Facebook from a gentleman and he goes, wow, you're really self-obsessed, aren't you? And I was like, oh wow, like you just hit, you just hit a nerve. Like I had a moment of like, oh, like somebody thinks I'm self-obsessed and I'm like, actually I kind of am and the most the best people are and I want to explain what I mean because I think there's different ways we can be self-obsessed I think there is a a positive way we can be really self-obsessed uh, I'm sorry the wind is blowing so my hair is all over the place I think there are positive ways we can be self-obsessed and that we need to be self-obsessed and then I think there's ways that we can do this in a negative way. And truthfully, I sat there and I was like, well, self-obsessed doesn't go with, with this topic of wounding. And I was actually like, yeah, it does. And so here I am doing a live on this instead. I think a lot of times we watch others. I talked about in my article the way that we can really move forward and expand our wounding. And it can be our blessing in truth but I also think if we don't heal our wound if we're not willing to truly drop in what it can also do is be our downfall it can be where we look at others and we go and we start blaming them and shaming them and judging them yesterday I had somebody who who like did I think it was like 14 or 15 comments on my post talking about my credibility and wanting 
me to prove to them my, my credentialing and my expertise. And I told them, you know, my years as a therapist and all my credentialing and all this. And it was very obvious that, that this man was coming from a place of, abs- abs- uh, uh, of assumption. I can talk. I swear, I can talk. This place of assumption without knowing me, without actually probably doing any research since um, I'm pretty out there about kind of the interviews I've done, the, all the stuff that, that I've done for, for my business and the writings I've done and my credentialing and all that, that jazz. Uh, but it was obvious that, that, that these assumptions, these judgments were really coming from a place of wounding. And then this morning with this somebody telling me I'm self-obsessed, it was obviously coming from a place of wounding. He wasn't talking about, wow, you're really, you're really selfish in the positive way of, of taking care of self. And in truth, if we get really judged for not loving ourselves, and that is the wound. Last night, every, so many people were talking about their self-love, their self-worth. And when we, we can turn that and flip that, and then when we see people in our lives that have self-worth, that love themselves, we begin to judge that. We begin to see that as self, self-obsessed or something that's wrong. If you look at our society, we have all this stuff right now that is talking about, oh, love yourself, you know, accept yourself, like, like you're beautiful, you're wonderful, all just the way you are but at the same time we have this opposite this direct opposite viewpoint of like you shouldn't be selfish you shouldn't like you should care more about others than you do about yourself it is better to give than receive when in truth to be selfish to take care of oneself to be a little self-obsessed and and when I say self-obsessed that means looking at your stuff, like really taking time to explore the inner parts of you. That is when we are at our very best. That is when we can be authentic with the people in our lives. I don't care if you're a coach, a helping professional, that doesn't matter. If you know self, if you're taking care of self, you will have more energy. Also, you will be able to give authentic yeses, authentic no's, you're going to be able to speak your desires. You're going to be able to hold other people's stuff more. You're going to build up this ability to really hold others' emotions, to not get into your ego. So when I think of self-obsession, yes, there is that, that pe- those people and that negative side of this where it's, it's all about them and they don't care about anybody else. What I would consider and label as like self-centeredness. You know, if somebody is in pain, they're like, oh, well, I stubbed, they, I, I have a paper cut, so you broke your leg, I'm sorry, like, that's just tough. That level of like overlooking other people, not, that is not what, what healthy self-obsession is. That is negative self-obsession. But, but, there is a positive piece of self-obsession where you are just looking internally. You love yourself. And I'm sorry, but it is a beautiful thing to love yourself. And if you are not wanting somebody else in your life, or if you look at others who truly love themselves, who have a sense of self-worth, and you start to judge them and go, they're self-obsessed, they're full of themselves you know, or, or looking at all their flaws, then my suggestion for you is to really look at your own wounding and that really is where it comes from. Because we all have wounds, guess what? Uh, we, every single human on this, this planet has wounds of some form or fashion. We enter the world in a very, in a very kind of traumatic way. I mean, you're getting pushed through a birth canal and like, we all have wounds. That's part of the human condition. It is how, how we use those wounds. Do we use them to grow us? Do we use them to expand us? Do we use them as stepping stones to have more compassion and more love towards self? Or are we using them to tear ourselves down, to stay stuck in the mud, to stay stuck in a negative vibration? 
and to judge others and disconnect us because our wounds can connect us not from the wound but from the moving through the wound and the the connecting to that deeper self that human spirit that we all have or we can use those wounds to really disconnect us and really start judging and pointing fingers and getting in our egos but to look at somebody and go oh well they're self-obsessed they're they love themselves too much you really need to look at your own wounding what where that's coming from especially if you don't know the person like I love when I see that on social media because most people on social media don't know me personally and don't know the person that they potentially could be talking about personally and so they don't they don't know that person at a deeper level they know like this this social media facade even if that person is being authentic on social media but we've gotten into this judgy place with social media and I'm not going to get onto that soapbox because I can get into the, that soapbox but in truth we have these beautiful wounds that can move us forward and can be so impactful and show us our path show us our path I very much believe that a lot of times we are wounded in the areas that we need to go that nothing happens everything happens for a reason and that if you went through something massive there's a reason for it and you can use that you might not use it in terms of like a lot of helping professionals have used their their struggles but you can use it in other ways you can use it to connect you can use it to have more compassion you can use it to just have love to just get into that vibration of love so I challenge you today to really look at your own wounding look at where you are wounded look at how amazing you are because you've gotten through that wound you've gotten through that wound or you're, you're getting up you're moving through you're getting through your day you have survived 100% of days up until this point. So yay you, that's amazing. That is truly amazing. But look at potentially where you're getting stuck. And then look at your desires. There is one thing that was really pointed out to me, again, not that I didn't know it, but was really reiterated to me again last night, was how we all have insecurity. We all can get stuck, but we all can move forward. We also can all move forward. We can all choose to take that next step. Sometimes it's not a huge leap. Sometimes it really is just a baby step. It is a changing of a thought process. It is a, a 30 seconds of insane courage, like I always say. So I want you to look at your wounds and where potentially you can step in. You can truly step in today where you can can be even just a little less judgy of self first because if you're judgy of self then guess what you're gonna be judgy of other people in your life um, and if you're judging other people in your life you are judgy of self guess what that's just how it is <laughs> that's how it is we judge others because we're judging ourselves so look at where you're judging yourself look at where you're getting stuck in your wounds and then look at how fucking amazing you are and how resilient you are to have gotten through everything you've gotten through through in your life raise that vibration choose to look at it from a new perspective so so yeah and I am actually I wanted to just even say like I am I still feel so incredibly blessed today to have gotten to do that event to got to have gotten to share those people's stories um, to get to witness it to get to get to feel it because as they were sharing their stories my heart was opening too I was getting more in touch with my wounding my stuff because we all have stuff so so I, I am in much gratitude today and I am even in gratitude for for the the two gentlemen within the last 24 hours that have shown me a piece of their wounding by judging me because it does show me and it is beautiful to see how our wounding can get us stuck but how we actually can move through it we can move through it it has yeah how we can move through it so I'll leave it at that so all right guys I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my walk and this beautiful weather we are having I hope you find a place in your day that you can also enjoy you can lean in feel your power feel your light 
Um, and just remember, I love you guys. And if you are interested in any of my coaching, any of my programs, events, anything that I am currently doing, you can stay up to date with me at addisonbell.net. I always have something for everybody going on. So uh, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys tomorrow for another Addison Unleashed. Love you guys and tons of blessings. Bye.